Hey guys, it's JP, and today we are going to take a look at exercises to improve the way you run. So, I usually make analysis videos that take a look at different aspects of the way someone runs from amateurs to top runners, and I discuss and explain different things that could be worked on in the individual runner. However, I have not made any videos that specifically work on those areas. In this video, I will be going over three exercises to help you improve your hip drive to help you run faster across all distances, whether you are a sprinter or a marathon runner. First, let's go over what I mean about improving hip drive. We will compare two different runners to really see the difference. Taking a look at this runner, you can see it has a bit of a bouncy running pattern. Now, let's place markers to look at the range of hip movement from when the foot touches the ground to when the foot pushes off the ground. He doesn't seem to use the hips as much as he could be as he runs. To see what I mean, let's compare this to an elite runner, Paul Chalimo, and see how he runs. Again, let's place markers of his hip movement from foot landing to push off. You can see the difference as he presents with good hip drive, which translates to minimize vertical bounce while maximizing force directed forward. Of course, many muscles work together as you push off the ground. However, we will be highlighting the importance of using the glutes, specifically the glute max. This is an important muscle as it's not only a powerful muscle that helps you push off the ground, but it is also fatigue resistant, which basically means that the muscle does not get tired as quickly as other muscles of the leg. Now, here are some exercises to help you learn how to utilize the glutes as well as strengthen them to drive the hips back and improve the amount of force generated so you can have a longer stride which ultimately leads to faster times. I collaborated with District Track Club as they filmed some of their awesome athletes so you can see how they are done. The first exercise is the hip drive. This is a great exercise to start with as it helps you learn how to utilize those hips in the first place. First, you start in this position. Make sure to maintain proper trunk alignment. Now to initiate this movement, really engage the glutes and focus on driving the hips forward. When you do this, it should be more of an explosive movement. But then, after you explode up, maintain form and keep it slow and controlled as you descend down to the floor again. To progress this, you can perform this second exercise, which is basically the same thing, but you are also using a weighted ball. This incorporates a strengthening component to not only the glutes, but also the trunk. Having a stable trunk will minimize energy leakage during push off and optimize force produced from the legs. You can substitute this for any weighted object that can be held, like a kettlebell. Again, similar cues are used, however, really make sure you choose a weight that you can hold while maintaining proper trunk posture. This means that the ribs should not flare out, and don't let the back arch too much. If this happens, maybe you should decrease the amount of weight you are carrying. Once you are able to maintain this position with the appropriate amount of weight, we can begin the exercise. Again, like I said before, as you perform this movement, engage the glutes and drive the hips forward. The last exercise I will be going over is a staple in many training programs, which is the kettlebell swing. This is an exercise that will help you improve hip extensor strength, but also work on a very similar movement pattern involved when the leg pushes off the ground as you run. Remember to use a weight where you can properly perform this movement so you can make the most out of this activity. Therefore, you should start with a lighter weight to learn this movement initially. Once you get a properly weighted kettlebell, start in this position. Technically, just looking at this specific clip, you can bend more from the knees to get a little lower than this. Then, like the previous exercises, focus on using the glutes to drive the hips forward. This should be an explosive movement, which will allow the weight to be raised up to around the shoulder level. Just remember that you should be engaging this movement from the hips and not excessively relying on the arms to bring the weight up. Then, as the weight falls, you should hinge backward from the hips. And that's it for the three exercises to help you learn how to use and strengthen the hips to improve hip drive as you run. I hope you guys found these exercises helpful. Let me know if I should continue to make more of these kinds of videos. Also, big shout out to District Track Club for the footage. I really appreciate it. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching.